Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video I'll be showing you how to bake a red velvet Swiss roll. Start off by preheating your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. In a bowl of eggs, add in your sugar and mix this together. We want to get this mixture tripled in volume and looking white. It's actually possible, all you have to do is keep on mixing. As you can see it starts off quite bubbly and yellow. Carry on. And then you see this color is slightly changing now. It's turning to a lighter yellow and it's quite thick but it's not white. So keep on mixing and then until you get to this white consistency. As you can see it's much thicker, the color is white and this is ready to use. Add in your vanilla and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add in the red food coloring mixture. It's just milk and red food coloring. And mix it all together. In a bowl, put your flour, baking powder and cocoa powder and mix it all together. And then sieve in half of the mixture into your eggy mixture. And then fold it gently with a spatula. Sift in the other half and then fold it again gently until it's all mixed in. Get your bicarbonate of soda and lemon juice into a bowl and mix it into your mixture. And then once you've done that, pour your mixture into the prepared cake tin and then gently ease the mixture onto the sides and mix it well together. I forgot to add my bicarbonate of soda and lemon juice at the stage where I mentioned. I added it into the bowl with the remaining mixture and then mix it together in the cake tin as best as I could. Remember to do it at the step I asked you to do it. But if you forget, just do what I did. Bake it in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes. Check on it because it can burn very easily. When it's ready, get a piece of greaseproof paper and sprinkle some icing sugar on top. Or caster sugar. I'm using caster sugar. So get a piece of greaseproof paper and put caster sugar on top. Get your hot cake. Flip it onto the icing sugar paper and then peel off the greaseproof paper from the bottom of the cake. Turn the cake so that the short side is facing you and then roll it up while it's still hot and put it on a cooling rack to cool completely. When it's cooled completely, spread some cream cheese frosting on it and then roll it up again. And then you can just dust some icing sugar at this point or sprinkle some more custard sugar and leave it. Or you can ice it like I'm doing with cream cheese frosting. When you're done, serve and enjoy. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.meadowbrownbakery.com. The link for the ingredient amounts is in the description below. Please like and subscribe to my channel.